Edgar Cayce's Planetary Sojourn in Venus Part 1 A soul sojourn in Venus makes for a very attractive and beautiful soul. That soul returning to Earth will bring qualities of being lovely, beautiful and friendly with its relationships and surroundings. The influences from the sojourns in Venus make for the friendships, the closer relationships with duty. Those influences in which love as a motivative factor in the experience of the entity becomes as a ruling influence. The urges from the sojourns on Venus make for the natural, innate love of beauty in the entity, in every form. In Venus we find that influence making for an excellent companion, for one while temperamental in many ways yet a good friend, making friends, holding friends, and one whose friendship may be counted as worth while by any who may be associated in any way or manner with the entity. From Venus we have that influence making for an experience in love, mercy, justice, temperance. As we find in Venus, the overexpression at times and materiality of those things that may be beautiful yet may become sordid and sour from the manner of application. In the Venus influences we find the friendliness, the ability to attract others to self, the ability to make friends easily and to hold those who are necessary to the entity not only in the way of friends but in mental or material ways. Yet the very same influence often allows the entity to become according to those who are so material-minded, one subject to being preyed upon by others because of the goodness or the kind feelings of the entity. Venus as love. The entity is one making for friendships that are lasting in the experience. In Venus, the love influence that has made does make for the beauty and strength and harmony in the inmost recesses of the entity's experience. Those influences from Venus make for what may be termed the great expression of the entity in the material relationships. Through the entity's development in the astrological sojourns as well as through the activities in the earth, as will be seen, true friendship is understood and appreciated by the entity in a degree not expressed, not felt by many that may of themselves show a much greater degree of activity in such relationships from the material standpoint. Those influences from Venus make for a sympathetic activity that becomes the entity in all of its relationships. Making for a pleasing personality in its meeting with others and in its influencing of those whom it may meet at times. And the forming of friendships becomes as a natural inclination in the entity's associations, yet there are those tendencies that are indicated at times to end such almost as suddenly as begun. But this, as indicated, if used in those activities in tolerance and patience, may become as one of the beauties, one of the virtues that will make for the growth of the soul, the contentment of the mind, and the fulfilling of its purpose in the earth in the present experience. The influences in Venus have made and do make for the friendships that are off to the entity as an enigma to self. For these do not follow that which has been and is oft proclaimed by many to be a psychological inference in the experience. Rather do they arise from a higher force or a deeper intuitive force from the sojourns there. Either the entity likes or dislikes those whom it contacts. From Venus we find rather that making for affability, the love of great numbers of friends, yet oft dependent upon same, leaning upon same very heavily. Making for those experiences where extremes of sorrow, extremes of gladness, become as a portion of the entity's experience in materiality. So these should be held in that which is the law of love. For love thinketh no evil, it thinketh not of itself, it is not puffed up, it is not weakened by prosecution, by sorrow. It endureth all things, and maketh for that which brings the glory of service in the experience in such ways and measures as to make each day an opportunity for bringing to the consciousness of some soul the joy of the Lord. Affability or affable means the sole quality of being friendly and good-natured. From Venus we find the love of the beautiful, even of the body beautiful, of art, of nature, 
of all forms of activity as would pertain to the natural sources of beauty. All of the activities of beauty in its relationship to nature become as a part of the entity. In Venus we find those natural tendencies that arise from affability. From the ability to sense feelings of others and to so apply self in its relationships to others as to become affable and capable of being of help or of arousing the influences that arise from sensuous forces in the experiences of individuals at any given time. Affability or affable means the sole quality of being friendly and good-natured. From Venus we find that friendships, loves, associations, have at periods meant, must mean, the greater influences for material, mental or even spiritual application of peace and hope that arises as part of each soul's longing. For no soul lives to itself, or dies to itself. It is ever dependent then upon relationships as to its application of constructive or destructive forces in this experience. From Venus we find both conflicting influences and those of friendships and associations that will bring closer relationships. But these, too, may become as stumbling blocks to the understanding lest they be made not for self-glorification, for self-indulgence, for self-exaltation, but rather used in the manner that he gave. That the glory of God may be manifested in and through those relationships, those friendships. From Venus we find the very unusual experiences and influences of the entity in relationships to those of the opposite sex. In Venus, love for the fellow man. Not as pity, rather as honoring the abilities of the individual in the direction as may be taken by that individual for the development of self as a whole toward others. From the Venus influences, we find the entity making a great number of friends, of associations that deal with the relationships both with its fellows and with those of the opposite sex. And these are useful if they are used in their proper relationships. Well that the entity study, either from the mental or from the material angle, the proper evaluation of friends. For, again, we find there are friends and friends. The law pertaining to same is true, that no matter how many one may have, one cannot afford to lose a real friend. But, hangers-on, are different. The influences from Venus we find make for those tendencies for a well-developed physical body, with many of those attributes and desires that are natural arising for physical prowess. As the interests in sports that require such an activity, as well as the interests in the opposite sex, that to the body physically and mentally may, with the proper choice, which, as we find, should be within the next year, of one that would make for a union of obligations, duties, experiences bring the awakenings and experiences that would be worth while in the entity's present sojourn. Those influences from Venus we find that beauty, peace, harmonious forces are ever in and about the entity. Yet for such to become active in the experience there has been required upon the part of the entity and activity. Not placidness, but peace rather gained, rather felt rather experienced by bringing same into the experience of others. We find in Venus the material manifestations of those attributes of such an environment, love, mercy, patience, kindness, long-suffering. These experiences at times to the entity become as pricks to the inner consciousness, yet hold fast to that as he has given thee, that, as you would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. Love the Lord thy God, with all thy heart, thy mind, thy body, thy neighbor as thyself. For this is the whole law and is a law of mercy, of justice, of peace to those who abide therein. In Venus we find the making for an affability in the associations. Easily has the entity been able in its experience to make friendships, to manifest love, to manifest those things that have brought, do bring into the experience, as has been a portion of the entity's experience in the present, the uses to excess or to extremes. Thus, as in all excesses, there are brought the disturbing influences for the entity and the fruits produced by excess. 
From this influence also there is the sensitiveness of the inner self, and there are those abilities to bring to others healing influence, healing forces, that arise from those experiences in that environ of Venus. In Venus we find the making for those innate influences in which sympathy and friendships and relationships with those of the opposite sex will have their appeal. Do not become overburdened with those forces that portend only to the gratifying of self's own desires or self's own emotions. Weigh them well, rather in the balance as he hath given in thine own understanding. For these may be used for the advancement in the material, the mental, and surely a spiritual understanding arises only from love. Yet these abuse become as stumbling stones that make for regrets and for those forces that become as millstones about thine own endeavors, thine own opportunities. The urges from the sojourns on Venus make for the natural, innate love of beauty in the entity, in every form. That as may be expressed or manifested even in the lowly beetle, that as may be manifested or expressed in the sunshine, in nature, in the song of the bird, in the activity of illumined souls, in the expression of love as manifests through a mother. These with their kindred associations of all natures are urges that swell within the innate forces of the entity, seeking, seeking to find expression. In Venus for friendships that become closer than those of flesh and blood relationships, those that make for a natural love, that make for a tendency for the understandings of individuals' problems. And the lesson the entity has had to learn and is learning well, be seen, not heard, be active, not passive. Be rather that as is a living example, known and seen rather than of the bombastic nature or as to make for confusions in the experiences of many. Those influences in Venus we find making again for friendships and loves and associations in material, in mental activities. As also for the artistic temperament, but not necessarily the temperament that is temperamental. The temperamental temperament is cultivated. The artistic temperament is a creation of experiences that make for the abilities and given directions of activity in giving expression of those influences in the experience of man that may in such measures or such manners bring joy and help. And whether this be in the depicting of nature, whether this be in depicting the body beautiful, whether this be in the depicting of the various activities between associations, these become rather as the expression of self in its relationship to that which is a creative force in the influences of others. In Venus, as a ruling force, we find a very sympathetic tendency towards all associations. The inclinations to worry over trifles or things that others would soon forget to the entity the inclinations will be and are to allow self to be reminded by those things that to others would be merely sentimental reasons. A great deal of sentiment and affection, yet these are as excuses at times for the inclination to dwell upon little things that may become magnified in this tendency for worry. These, of course, will be noticed and developed more as the individual entity develops towards early young manhood, or in the teen ages. In Venus we find the love influence, the beauty, the art, expressions of the higher forces and influences in the experiences of others. Yet, as has been indicated, remember that upon the reverse or inverse of an activity, there is the very thin veil that may exalt, may debase if applied in a selfish or in a manner for self-glorification. Let the glorification of self be rather the result of having accomplished in nine experiences, and nine associations the beauties that make for bringing into materialization the love that the Father, the creative force, God, has manifested and does manifest in activities of individuals. Become, then, a channel of blessings to others, and thus may the beauties of the heavenly forces as may be expressed in such be thine very own. Beauty for beauty's sake. Love that it may be the manifestations of not bodily emotions but rather those that show forth his activity in and among men.